Greetings and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle video. This time we are tackling the Mysterious Mask Super Strike event. Now, granted, he is not necessary to complete the Goku Legendary Rare fight. So if you are short on time or don't feel like you actually won, you are free to skip, uh, skip the Super Strike completely and you probably won't miss out on anything. However, by awakening him into his new mode, his damage goes up to extreme, he reaches Super Attack 15, and he greatly lowers defense. Other than that, I'm not really sure what he gains, but anyway, in we go. Now, he is a tech character, and just like Jackie Chun and the others, we are going in with... Let's see, that's a Super Attack 8. Ah, here we go, Super Attack 10. Like always, I go in with Magic Boo Piccolo Absorb, with tech enemy attack minus 25%. If you do not have that boo, you might consider going in with somebody that reduces damage taken, or you might as well go in with King Vegeta, who gives 3 into tech, so that way you deal damage a lot faster. Also, that Yamcha and, 16, and Android 16 there, absolutely worth bringing along because they both have perfect defense, and 16, if he's into Super Strike mode, reduces damage by 55% instead of 50%. Other than that, really, I just filled it up filled it up with whatever I had in order to fill out the team and avoid getting a Cyber Man put into my team. So I am at exactly 52 points, with, so this team is exactly 100 points. Now, other than that, let's see, uh, Ghost Usher, Double Healing, and Extra Defense. I think that's pretty much what we're going. So let's go in and see exactly what this one entails. Now, if it's anything similar like the Jackie Chun one, it shouldn't be that hard. Hmm. Let's see, so if we want any key, we gotta go the long way around, apparently. And this music is a little on the funky side. Ooh, nice, we got that key that we almost missed out there. Let's see, let's grab this five over here. There we go, nice. Ooh, a golden capsule followed by some key, yes, very nice. Let's see, then we grab the two for the key. Let's see, and then what else we have on the three to avoid the damage. Oh, then a one, then a two, then another one. And the two, then the one. Nice. Unfortunately, Nappa's not exactly the best person to get key with. Oh, we got all the key we could. Okay, that's good. 16 is going to be pretty much ready to launch a super attack when he shows up. Can we get... Yes, we can. Excellent. Wow, they really want 16 to launch a super attack. And that is all there is. Unfortunately, Mr. Satan, or Hercule, how he's called in English, is not here at, after him, unlike his regular fight. So, let's just go in and see what's up. Now, like with every other Super Strike fight, you first have to finish off the regular one, and then you get to fight the real one. That is a lot of red. Is Gogeta even coming close? Yes, he is. Okay, let's just withstand the attacks, uh, burn time, and then let Gogeta finish him off. Now, in terms of damage, taking into account that I brought along Piccolo Boo Absorb, that's reducing his attack by 25%. Uh, his Super Strike version in Phase 2 hits int characters for around 20,000-ish. So he still hits pretty hard. There we go, time to finish him off. That's a lot of red. There we go. So you do want to be careful with the damage he is able to do. And he does seem to attack at l consistently two times per turn. I don't think I've ever seen more than two, I think. Well, let's just see what we have to deal with this time. Down he goes. Okay, oh, second phase. Here we go. Okay, excellent. 16th. Oh, double attack. Good thing we have 16 here. And he's going to launch his super attack, which is good. Let's see. We want to start bringing down these reds for Gogeta. And he is coming, which is good. Let's see. That would be 8, 9, 10, 11. We should be able to get enough. There we go, 16 blocking like a champ. Let's see, how much does this do to them, considering he is not actually working? 68, not bad. Uh, 
Let's see, what can we do here? That's 8, 9, 10, 11. We are one short on go -get -a. That is not good. Totally not good. And let's see, can we bring in can we bring that red one down? Probably not. Didn't think so. That's still eight. Because we want to deal full damage with the Get we're gonna waste a ghost dusher here. We technically could avoid doing this completely, but I really want the go -get to do his full damage. There we go. There we go, full damage. Now the unfortunate part is that we don't have that many good characters that are in and have low team cost, which is why we are basically relying entirely on Gogeta, which is unfortunate. Now the little int trunks I brought along is decent. He gives two key to int characters when he shows up. There we go, that will do that. So what do we do? Who's coming up next? Uh, a bunch of id characters, so let's just grab this for Yamcha. Let's save that for 16 because his damage was decent. There we go, that's actually very good damage. Can we afford it? No, we cannot. Now, comparing this to the Beerus Doken event we just had, this is actually considerably easier, but also at the same time challenging because of the reduced team cost. And also, a lot of our characters aren't doing godly amounts of damage. Very nice, 8,000. Now, we're going to do it like this, mostly because that little Trunks is not fully awakened. So he's still going to take a lot of damage. However, if I'm not mistaken... Yep, the core 25% damage dealt as health. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... This should be enough for a super attack from Boo. It is, that'll heal us up. Oh, and we brought down some reds, excellent. Let's see if we can bring down some more reds. Yes, we can, excellent. So he should go down next turn, if not the turn after that. So let's see, how much do you heal us up, Mr. Boo? 34,000, decent amount. And 25% of that, how much was it? Uh, not really sure. Oh dear. Okay, so let's do like that. Let's heal up. Let's withstand the damage, just in case we don't finish him off with the Gogeta, which I doubt. There's nothing Yamcha and Nappa can do to increase our damage. So let's just do this. Withstand the damage and finish off this fight, hopefully. Yeah, good thing we healed. Had Gogeta been at the front, that would have basically taken us out of the fight completely. Come on, finish him off, finish him off. Yes! No, not yet. He has a sliver of health left, but we should be able to take him down. Yeah, 16 should be able to finish him off completely. If not, this little trunks. But this battle is basically over. So, once again, a consistent team that can do it constantly. Now, we do have to heal a considerable amount. The first time I did this, I had to use up uh, two Senzu Beans because I wasn't expecting that much damage. But overall, he really isn't that hard, but you do rely on Log to get the blockers at the proper time and to get Gogeta in order to do the damage and launch his super attack. So anyway, yeah, that's it. And just with any other super strike, you get one Dragonstone for clearing it without using a continue, which shouldn't be too hard. It can be tricky, but not too hard. If you're running into trouble, you can always be ready to reset the app and try again. And there we go. So that was it. So anyway, thank you for watching. And we will see you next time for more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Which, let's see, the next Super Strike event will be uh, Tech uh, Xeno Trunks is 1. And after that, we should be absolutely on the verge of receiving the Legendary Rare Goku fight. Which will be very tricky and with 3 phases and all that. So we will see you next time.